Hey guys, Arv here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 4 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, each rectangular prism is built from centimeter cubes. State the dimensions and find the volume. Alright, so volume again is length times width times height. So our length here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 centimeters. Our width is 2 and our height is 4. So 5, 2, 4. So to find volume, 5 times 2 times 4, that's 10 times 4, which is 40. Alright, next, I'm going to label everything. Length is 3, width is 2, and height is 5. 3 times 2 times 5 is 3 times 10, which is 30. Now I've C. This one they're trying to trick you a little bit, but don't be tricked. This is still the width that's uh, four. What is over here? I mean the length. Width is two and height is also four. Four times two is eight times two is four is thirty-two. Alright, and D. Eight is our length, three is our width, and three is also our height. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 8 is 72. Now number 2, write a multiplication sentence that you could use to calculate the volume for each rectangular prism in problem 1. Include the units in your sentences. So it's basically tell us to rewrite. So A, it was the length was 5, width was 2, and height was 4. So it's 5 times 2 times 4, but make sure you include units. So 5 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 4 centimeters, that's 40 centimeters cubed. So it's really important to include that in your answer when you're doing volume, it's cubed. Alright, now B, our length is 3 times 2 times 5. So here we write 3 times 2 times 5. And our, air, um, our volume was 30 centimeters cubed. And when we're calculating area, we don't usually write the units after each number, only for the final answer, but here it just wants us to practice doing that. Now see, it's 4 times 2 times 4. So 4 times 2 times 4 centimeters. And we got 32 centimeters cubed. D, 8 times 3 times 3. Times three centimeters times three centimeters got seventy two centimeters. Cute. All right, next page. For three, calculate the <coughs> volume of each rectangular prism. Include the units in your number sentence. So volume it's eight times four times eight. Length times width times height. Eight inches times four inches times 8 inches again, that's 8 times 32, which is 32 times 8 is 256. And here we have 7 times 3 times 10. Watch out for the unit change. That's 10 times 21, just add a zero at the end. So 210 meters cubed. Number four, Mrs. Johnson is constructing a box in the shape of a rectangular prism to store clothes um, for the summer. So it has a length of 28 inches, a width of 24, and a height of 30. It's the volume of the box. So length times width times height. First I'm going to do 28 times 24. Seven, that's 16. So 672. Now 672 times 30, we can do 672 times 3 first. That's easier. 
and then add a three at the add a zero at the end because thirty plus two. 20,160 um, inches cubed. Number five, calculate the volume of each rectangular prism using the information that's provided. So face area 56, well face area is just the area and that's length times width. Because area is length times width. So they have already done that for us, so all you need to do is multiply the area by the height to find volume times four, 24, was, wait, hold on, 24 is 20, which means 22. So meters cubed. And here, 169 times 14, nine times four is 36, six times four is 24, plus three is 27, four plus two is six. Nine, sixty-nine. Add everything together. Two thousand three hundred sixty-six inches cubed. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.